Buckle up your seat belts as we move through this turbulent month of October. The sun is in Libra right now and that is a cardinal sign. The cardinal signs of Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn are fast acting and say let's get things done now. October will be a month of surprising and unexpected events. The planet Uranus will be dominant this month and it is conjunct Eris, the planet of chaos. Uranus rules storms, wind, light, lightning, electricity, computers, all high-tech equipment, asteroids, and great awakenings. The massive waves of ascension started on September 12, 2016 when they hit Earth's magnetic field and the Earth ring like a bell. These waves will continue during October. There will probably be lots of storms this month that will contain wind, lightning, or maybe even beams of light in the heavens. Some of these waves of light will be caused by Uranus, the planet of light. Uranus is in the sign of Aries which rules the head, brain, and the eyes. Some people may have challenges with their eyes, head, or brain this month. Uranus and Neptune will be in opposition by declination all month. Uranus is male and Neptune is female. The battle between male, positive electrical, and female, negative magnetic, will continue to play out all month. We can watch this on the world scene by the debates between Trump and Hillary. What an interesting show! What have you learned by watching these candidates? Do you like the way they treat each other? Do you think either of them would make a good president? What will the outcome be, or could some surprising event happen that changes everything? Only time will tell. There will be lots of surprises in October because that is what Uranus rules. You never know what to expect with that planet. That planet tends to take away things that you no longer need and when that is over it brings back something that you do need, which could be something wonderful. Today, September 27th, I heard that an asteroid hit in the ocean off Australia. Asteroids are also ruled by both Uranus and Neptune. This asteroid came down in the Pisces area of my world map, and there was a 5.7 quake in Japan north of Australia but still in the Pisces area. Neptune rules Pisces. Many people say that when Nemesis, our companion sun who some call Nibiru, came in with its solar system intact, brought a lot of space junk along with it. One of them was a large asteroid. I heard that the three rockets we sent up to the asteroid in the past few months had nuclear warheads on them and they broke this large asteroid into several pieces. I had also heard that an asteroid would fall to Earth and this would happen between September 23rd and 26th. Well, look what just happened, one fell in the ocean off Australia. There will be more to come. No fear, you will be protected if this does happen. In Revelation, chapter 18, verse 21, it says, Then a mighty angel took up a stone from heaven like a great millstone and threw it into the sea saying, So shall Babylon, the great city be thrown down with violence, and shall be found no more. Babylon is symbolic of our corrupt ruling elite who are in the fast lane of destruction. We are in that time period right now with the remnant of that large asteroid in our heavens. Check out this video, alert 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 more asteroid will follow. The new moon chart for September 30th has a very powerful T-cross in the cardinal signs of Aries, Libra, and Capricorn. The Sun, Moon, Jupiter, and Mercury will be in Libra, Pluto and Mars will be in Capricorn, and Uranus will be in Aries. That is a very powerful planetary aspect. Mars is just at the beginning of Capricorn so it will stay in that sign all month. Saturn and Neptune are still in a square aspect to each other and this will probably cause more confusion, a spaced out feeling, or interdimensional events. Neptune has a reputation for confusing things. The new moon chart has a very interesting aspect in it and that is about the dark moon Lilith being on 18 degrees Leo, which is the degree of Christ consciousness. Does this mean that the dark moon will now be bringing in light? 
The meaning of the degree of this new moon is the need to return to source during a confused search for a new value in a chaotic society. Mars has now moved into Capricorn and will dance all month with Pluto. Of course we all know that Mars can be a little violent at times, and Pluto is the transformer. Capricorn rules governments, corporations, leaders, organizations, houses and buildings and all structures. Look for lots of changes in all those structures. The full moon chart on October 15th shows another cardinal T-cross. The energy will start building up to this full moon several days before it happens, and will continue for several more days. The sun will be opposing Uranus, which is still conjunct Eris, and this will probably activate chaos. This will be an extremely powerful full moon. Libra rules relationships so there will probably be challenges in that area. Some relationships will break up and new ones will appear. Jupiter is also in Libra and will be there for one year. Libra also rules lawyers, clothes, pretty things, the liver, and balance. It's now time to find the balance within us so we can manifest unity consciousness. Mars will be affecting Washington DC at the time of the full moon on October 15th and 16th when the Sun will be opposing the uranus Eris conjunction. A few days later Mars will be affecting New York and the financial center there, along with the United Nations. What will this bring? Mars and Pluto will also be affecting the whole East Coast area so there could possibly be a large natural disaster in that area such as another storm or maybe one of those space pieces will fall into the ocean off the east coast. There have been many storms and lots of flooding along the east and southeast coast of the United States because Pluto has been stationary over that area for a long time. Now Pluto will also have the energy of Mars along with it. The opposite side of the world is China and they have had massive flooding from the many storms that have come into their country. They will also have more storms, and there will be more storms and floods all over the world, possibly caused by hurricanes or cyclones. We do live in interesting times. Find peace within and stay in your center as we go through this turbulent time. Find the joy in life and be grateful for everything you have. It's time to live on the new earth in unity consciousness with everyone helping each other. Love conquers all. No fear. See you on 5D Earth. So be it. I would like to thank everyone for my birthday greetings. I really had a nice birthday. It is also nice to receive donations of money, it makes my life so much easier. There is a donation button on the front page of my blog. May you sparkle like a beautiful star in the heavens so people can see your light. It only takes one little candle to light a dark room. I send you my love and blessings. Mahala. The dates and times for the moons, as well as the video mentioned in the article can be found down in the description box.